Yes, please. Great, great. Um, so um, yesterday we discussed the final account on our time and we solved one question on it. And as I told you yesterday, today's class will be divided into two sessions, all right? We use the first session to do the work on the screen, all right? And we use the next session to discuss the work, all right? So with the next, um, with the next session, I would ask people randomly to show their work and then we will discuss it. So um, it's 7.38 now. You start the work at 7.40, all right? And then um, how many minutes do you want? Hello? Course scripts, how many minutes should I give you? Hello? Pardon? How many minutes? 20. 20? Hey, are you sure 20 will be enough? Hello? <clears throat> I, I want more suggestions. It's 20, it's okay. Hello, Abigail. Abigail, unmute your mic. Uh, um, Abraham. Say. Abigail, how many minutes do you want? Uh, maybe 45. Okay, Abigail is suggesting 45. Um, Johnson. Yes, sir. Um, How many minutes should I give you? Sir, one hour, please. One hour. One hour is too much. Yes, sir. Um, okay, I think 60 minutes will do. All right. So it's 7.40 now. All right. So 50 minutes from now will be somewhere 8.30. All right. So um, you have the question on your screen. And you have to prepare income statement and statement of financial position. All right. So can we start to work? And please note that before you prepare the income statement and SOFP, you're supposed to analyze first. All right. You're supposed to tackle the additional information first. All right. And with the additional information, um, with the A, you have closing inventory amounting to 13500 And with the B, You've been given rent prepaid and um, utility bill owing or outstanding, all right? And with the C, you have goods drawing. And D, you have interest with, or you have interest on loan, all right? And E, you have depreciation. And the last one, you have bad debt of 300, all right? And after subtracting the bad debt from the receivable balance, you have to calculate provision for depreciation, all right? And provision for depreciation um, is 2%, right? So after less than the 300 from the receivable balance, you have to charge 2% provision for depreciation, all right? So we have, um, we have um, three receivables figure in the power balance to be 15,300, all right? And bad debt, bad debt is 300. After less than bad debt from the receivable balance, we have net or we have new receivable balance of 15,000, all right? And 2% of 15,000 give us 300. So the 300 will be the provision for household debt, all right? And in the power balance, we have provision for household debt to be 180, all right? So initial provision is 180 and closing provision is 300. So meaning we have increase in provision. Please hope you are following. Yes, sir. Very good. So we have increase in provision of 120, and that increase in provision is to be treated as an expense in the income statement. All right. Yes, so it's 742 now. Yeah, Lowell, 
Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. And um, please, I wanted to be clear on the additional information. That's letter D. Interest rate on the bank loan is 20% per annum. And there is an interest loan, interest on loan in the trial balance. Sure, so, sure. um, the, the, as, as, as we discussed during the past session, the interest on loan in the trial balance is interest on loan paid. All right. It's interest on loan paid. And the additional information that told that interest on loan is to be 20% of the bank loan. All right. So the actual amount to be paid is the 20%. All right. So the 20% on the loan, you have the loan to be um, 21,000. So the 20% on 21,000 is the loan, is the interest on loan in care during the year. All right. So that 20% will be treated as an expense. All right. And out of the 20%, the firm paid 3,000. All right. So 20% of 21,000 will give us, um, let's say, we give us 4,200, all right? And out of the 4,200, we paid 3,000. So meaning we still have some amount to be paid, all right? We still have some amount to pay. So we are supposed to pay, we are supposed to pay 4,200 for the year, all right? And out of the 4,000, we paid 3,000 during the year. So meaning we have interest on loan only. Do you get it now? Lowell. Okay. So um, please start work. And um, you can you can ask questions if you can pay question. Thank you. Sir, please. So with the interest on the loan, are you going to send the difference to the um, income statements, or you are just going to raise the three thousand with interest on loan. You see, in the in the income statement, in the income statement, you record revenue or you report revenue and and expense incurred. All right. So the interest incurred will go to income statement, and interest owing will be treated as current liability. All right. The interest in care is the amount to be paid during the year. Is it okay now? Okay. So if if you have any question concerning the work, you can ask. But then note that you're supposed to end at 8:30. Exactly at 8.30. And after 8.30, I would ask the phone number to show their work. Explanation. Thank you.
I'm not doing it.
Hey, only 44 people are in class. Hey, hey, hey. You don't like school.
Um, Frida, kindly don't leave, all right? There is a question here you have to solve. Okay, kindly try your hands on it. And the TA is actually here, okay? Try your hands on it and the TA will discuss with you after you are done.
I don't say um, easy. Attention. Please know that you spend 30 minutes and you have 20 minutes more. Hey. Hey. It was easy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and please, some are complaining that they can't see. Um. Uh, they can't see the. They can't see. What? Yeah, they take uh, the picture wall. So probably I don't know if you've already sent it to the WhatsApp page or something. Yeah, it's it's on their platform. It's on their platform. It's on their platform. All right. So please, in case and you can't can see it, you can just visit the platform. Pardon? Uh, or they can zoom in from there. Okay, 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 sure. So kindly visit the platform if you can't see it here, all right? Please know that you spend 30 minutes and you have 20 minutes more. Thank you. Hello, so easy. Yeah, and please, it seems there's a question in the chat section for you. But please, in case you have any question, just uh, put up your hand or um, you can start talking, all right, in case you put up your hand for some time and uh, I'm not being called, all right? But yeah, um, Lydia, so is it, old, uh, is it will address your consent shortly. Um, okay, so someone is asking about the cash discount. You see, discount is a discount, all right? So the cash discount at the debit side is an expense, all right? So it's discount allowed, and the one at the credit side is discount received. Thank you. So the one of the debit side is discount allowed, all right, and it will be treated as an expense, and the 400 is to be treated as under income.
Um, please, you have 10 minutes more. 10 minutes more. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, please, you have five minutes more. We're getting ready to stop work. Five minutes more. Okay, so they are solving it.
Number B. All right, um, stop work. Stop work. And um, please raise your hand if you are not done with the work. Kindly raise your hand if you are not done. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, almost the whole class. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm adding up 10 minutes. So you have additional 10 minutes. All right. But so now you're supposed to close, you're supposed to end at 8.40. Thank you. So you have 10 minutes more. 10, 10 minutes more. I I am am more less of a friend saying operating expensive. That you was on. Some of was on. Encouraging was on. I'm the for you. Have you noticed?
All right, um, time up, time up, please stop work. Stop work. All right, so, um, Johnson. Johnson, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, kindly take um take us to your work. Okay. Uh, okay. So I started with the Johnson, your line is breaking. No way. Mm -hmm. so, 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 Lowe, unmute your mic. Lowe. Okay, so Lowe is I've been able to hear myself now. Uh, Lowe. Sure. Can you take us to your work? Okay. Please, can I share my screen? Sure, you can. 
Is there only host can share in this meeting? Okay. Um, Lugo, I think you can see us now. Okay. I'm coming. So you have you have three minutes to get through your work. Okay. Please can you all see my screen now? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can see your screen. Okay. So we're first working from the question. They talked about rent prepaid. And the actual rent paid in the question as a trial balance. I'm kind of, please hold on. Additional, additional information one was about Okay. So additional information one. It was a closing stock. Okay, I don't I don't have that amount here though. I didn't add it to the okay. weekend. The amount is, the amount is one three five zero zero. Okay, so that was the closing inventory. And the second question was on rent paid, rent prepaid, yes. And the rent prepaid was 2,500. And the mm -hmm. actual rent paid in the question was 8,000. And you know, okay. anything that appears in the footnote is treated twice. So with this, for us to know the actual rent incurred, we would have to subtract the rent paid from the rent prepaid. And that's what I did, and I had 5,500. That's the actual okay. rent incurred. So this rent incurred would be treated at expense in the income statement. And so the rent prepaid. Continue. Yeah, and the rent prepaid would be treated as current asset. Very good. Very good. Statement of financial position. Sure. In that same question, you had utility owing. Mm -hmm. That was 2000. Mm -hmm. So the actual utility paid for that year was 12,500. So to know the actual utility incurred during that year, we would have to add the utility owing to the utility paid, and we'll get 14,500. So the utility incurred would be treated as an expense in the income statement. Owing, that's 2,000, would be treated as a current liability in the statement of financial position. And now we had drawings. The drawings figure was 9,700. But in the footnote, we had a drawing of 1,000 cities. That's from the goods for personal use by the owner. So we would have to add to know the actual drawings incurred or the actual drawings made during that year. So we will get 10,700. So this 1,000 over here. Oh, please hold on. Please hold on. Okay. okay, so with the, with the drawings, you see, you've been given initial drawings to the trial balance, all right? And that in the footnotes, you have goods drawings, all right? And whenever you have goods drawings, it's taken out from the formation of opening inventory and next specific, all right? So here, you're supposed to write goods drawings, thousand, all right? Okay. And then you have initial drawings of 9,700. So now total drawings will be 9,700 by the thousand. All right, and that will give us the 10,700. 
Mm. Right. So the total yeah. drawings would go to SO to be subtracted from capital. And the good okay. drawings would go to income. Right. Is it is it is it okay now? Yes, please. It is. Sure, sure. Can you continue? Okay. So from the footnote. Wow. The, the B had interest rate on the bank loan was 20%. So we first calculate 20% on the bank loan figure. That's 21,000. And I had 4,200. But there was already an interest loan on interest on loan in the trial balance. That's 3,000. So meaning the company had already paid 3,000 cities of the interest. So in order to know the interest going, we'd have to subtract the 4,200 from the 3,000 and we'll get 1,200. And this 1,200, that's the interest going, would be treated in the statement of financial position as a current liability. And the interest on banking in the expense, that's being the income statement would be 4,200. We go to the D, the position. So the position is to be treated on 15% straight line method. That's on shop fittings. And 20% on reducing balance. That's for delivery van. So that's what I did over here. 15% of 4,500. That's the actual cost for shop fittings. And I had 675. Cities and the delivery van 20% on reducing balance would be the actual cost of the delivery van is 68,000 and the accumulated depreciation as at first January 2014 was 24,480. So I would subtract that from the 68,000 in order to know the current the net book value, then I'll find 20% on it. So I did exactly that and I had 8,704. With the F, it said trade receivables amounting to 300 have been declared uncollectible. That's a bad day. Hello, good morning. So, Hi. So that's a bad day. A bad day for 300 students. Subtract the bad day. That's the 300 students. From the trade receivables in order to have the current or the new trade receivable figure. So that's what I did 15,300 minus 300. And the current trade receivable figure that I had was 15,000 cities. And when you continue with the question, they said the bank, the allowance for irrecoverable debts is to be maintained at 2% of the trade receivable balance. So we would find 2% on this current trade receivable figure, that is the 15,000. This is it. And we had 300, 2% of 15,000, we get 300. So that would be the new allowance for irrecoverable debt. So in order to know if there was an increase or decrease in allowance for irrecoverable debt or provision for the household debt. We look into the trial balance and there was already an allowance for irrecoverable debt given. That's 180 cities. So that means there has been an increase in provision. So we are going to find the difference. And the difference is what I did over here. 300 minus 180. And I had 120 cities. So this 120 cities is an increase in allowance for recoverable debt. And this would be treated as an expense in the income statement. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You've you really done well. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, please, is there any question? Any question? Okay. okay. 
is there is no question as um, um Tracy 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 can you hear me? Yes, please, I can hear you. Sure. Please, you kindly take us through your income statement. Um, so my, my connection is really bad. So, um, oh, OK, OK, you, you don't worry. Don't worry, okay. don't worry. Let me find you. Can you use yourself? Good. Okay, so um, 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 Rita, do you have a question? Rita, your hand is up. Rita. Okay. I'm a quite my energy. I'm a quite my energy. Are you there? Hello? Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Please, I'm Hello. here. Yes. Okay, okay, so I'm a customer. Can you take us to your income statement? Okay, please. Should I share the screen? Hello, hello, sir. Yes, please. Should I share the screen? Oh, yes. yes, oh, yes. Okay. Is that only the host can share? Oh, okay. Um, um, please hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm a customer. You can share your screen now. Okay. Hello. Hello, yes. sir. Please, I'm finding difficulties in sharing. Can I just speak? Yes. Can I just speak? I'm finding difficulties in sharing the wow. screen. Okay, sure. Okay, okay, okay. You you take us through. Okay. So please, we start with the name of the. Uh, so okay. We start with the name of. Thank you. 
hello. Okay, so um, I think I'm not trying to smash them up. Um, let's let's discuss. Um, let me let me share my solution a little bit. Back. So, with the question, we have to prepare income statements and statement of financial position, all right? And with the additional information A, we were given closing balance, all right? So we have closing balance of 13,500. With the closing balance figure here, which is 13,500, all right, we go to income statement to be subtracted from cost of goods available for sale. All right, and it will also be treated as current assets in the SOS. Right, so with the E, we have created inventory of 13,500. And this figure will go to income statement to be subtracted from cost of goods available for sale. And it would also go to SOS fee to be treated as current assets. All right, and with the B, we have I and II. So with BI, with BI, we have rent prepaid of 2,500, all right? And rent prepaid is an expense prepaid. So since an expense prepaid, it will be treated as current asset in the SOFP, all right? Rent prepaid is treated as current asset in the SOFP. And we have rent paid during the year. Rent paid during the year is 8,000. So during the year, we paid 8,000, all right? At the end of the year, we realize that We've made an advance payment of 2,500. So the rent incurred would be 8,000 and 2,500. And that gives us 5,500. So this 5,500 will go to income statement as an expense. All right, it will go to income statement as an expense. And II, we have its listed bills outstanding. Outstanding means only or accrued or yet to be paid or not yet paid or in arrears. All right. So we have receiving bills outstanding of 2000. The amount outstanding will be treated as current liability in the SOS. All right. And then we have receiving bills paid. So during the year, we paid 12,500. At the end of the year, we realized that we still have 2000 to pay. So meaning in the course of the year, we used or throughout the year, you use like a three of 12,500 plus 2,000. So the 2,000 here, um, this 2,000 will go to SOF as current liability, all right? And the 14,500 here, which is the summation of the amount paid and the amount owing, will go to income statement as an expense, all right? We we'll go to income statement and expense, all right? And okay. And with the C, we have goose drawings. We have goose drawings of thousand, all right? And this thousand will go to income statement, all right? And we were given opening drawings in the trial balance. In the trial balance, we have opening drawing of 9,700. Right, so as at the end of that period, or as at the end of the current period, total drawings will be 9,700 plus 1,000. And that will give us 10,700. And this 10,700 will go to SOSP to subtract it from capital. All right. And then we have interest on loan. Interest on loan is to be 20% of the bank loan. We have 20% of the bank loan. We have bank loan of 21,000. So 20% 20 of 21,000 give us 4,200. Well, this is the amount we're supposed to pay for the year, all right? But then we paid 3,000, meaning we still have certain amounts left to be paid, all right? So we're supposed to pay 4,200 for the year. We paid 3,000, all right? So we still have 1,200 to pay. The 1,200, will go to SOSP as current liability. And the 4,200 will go to income statement as an expense. All right, the 4,200 will go to income statement as an expense. And then with the E, we have depreciation on short settings. All right, and we are told that with short settings, we have to charge depreciation on cost. 
Uh, so we are, we've been given the rate, which is 15%. We have cost of 4,500. So the depreciation will be the 15% times 4,500. And that gives us 675. All right. And in the trial balance, we are given opening or initial accumulated depreciation. All right. We are given initial accumulated depreciation of 1,800. All right, and during the year, we have the depreciation expense of 675. So, as at the end of the year, we have accumulated the depreciation to be 8,000, sorry, 1,800 plus 675. And that gives us 2475. So, the 2475 will be the figure for accumulated depreciation. And this figure will go to statement of financial position to be subtracted from the cost of asset. All right. We we'll go to statement of financial position to be subtracted from cost of assets. And for delivery van, and for delivery van, we are required to charge the depreciation on net book value. All right, or we are required to charge the depreciation based on reducing balance. So we have 20% on the net book value. And the net book value is the 60,000 minus the initial accumulated depreciation. All right. So for the delivery van, we have the position of 8704. Oh, yeah. Please meet she yourself. Um, Hell, meet yourself. Hell, you are in class. Okay. So with delivery van, we have twenty percent of the sixty-eight thousand minus two four four eight zero, and that now give us eight seven four zero. All right. And to now accumulated depreciation, we add depreciation expense for the year to the initial accumulated depreciation, and that give us three three one eight four. All right. And with the additional information. E, sorry, for the additional information, F, we have bad debt of 300, All right? We have bad debt of 300. Now, our receivable balance, 15,300. And that give us 15,000, right? And provision for that whole debt is to, be, is to be maintained at 2%. We have provision for that whole debt to be 2% of receivables. And 2% of receivables should give us 300. And we are given initial provision in a trial balance of 180. All right. So from 180 to 300, from 180 to 300, we have increased in provision of 120. And that increase in provision will be treated as an expense in the income statement. All right. So that's that for the additional information. So we have closing inventory. We have rent, we have utility, we have drawings, we have interest loan, we have depreciation of shop returns, depreciation of delivery van, we have bad debts and what provision for household debt. Please, is there any question? Kindly raise your hand if you have a question. Abigail. Abigail, or me, so hey. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, please also ask question concerning the drawings. Does it mean that any time okay. uh, drawings is being um, written in the additional information, that should be that should be subtracted from the cost of goods available for sale? We're talking about goose drawing, goose drawing. All right, so if it's goose drawing, it will be subtracted from cost of goose available for sale. We're talking about goose, goose. All right, so goose drawing means in the course of the year, the owner took some of the goods. So it will cause decrease in the goose in the fed. Oh, okay. 
very good. If it starts growing, it will be subtracted from the cash balance. Okay. Is it is it clear? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Good. So sure. welcome. Um please any question. Any question? Okay, Lydia. Lydia, kindly unmute yourself and ask your question. What is it? Lydia, unmute yourself. Yeah, uh, so I'm here. So does it mean that the bad debt, the 300, will okay. be recorded as expense? And you also record the increase in provision for bad debt, 122. You record both. Hello? Say. Yes. I'm asking if uh, the provision for bad debt, you record both the bad debt figure 300 and the increase in provision 120 as an expense. Bad debt, bad debt is bad debt. All right. Bad oh, debt okay. is an irrecoverable debt. So it should be treated as an expense. All right. And we had increase in provision, meaning we have to set aside more money to cater for doubtful debt or to cater for future bad debt. All right, so the bad debt is an expense, all right, would also treat the increase in provision as an expense as well. Is it, is it okay now? Lydia. Okay, please, is there any other question? Any other question? Christy? Christy, unmute yourself, please. Christy? Wow. Christy, can you hear me? Okay. Um, please, is there any other question? Okay. So if there is no question, let's go through the income statement and SOFD. So with the income statement, um, where is it? Okay, it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with the income statement, we have three steps involved, all right? The first step is to determine the gross profit, all right? And the next or the second step is gross income. The last one is to determine net profit or net loss. Christy, your hand is still up. Please ask your question. Say. Say, please, can you hear me? Sure. Okay, I wanted you to go over the depreciation. Wow. I should go over the depreciation. Yes, please. Um, um, did you join the previous class um, session? Christine? For yesterday. The previous one, all the previous ones. 
Yes, please. Were you in class last week? Yes, please. And what did I tell you about the decision? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a, um, um, bit confused because it was also in the question. What was in the question? The, the, the How balance? I told you that the decision that related the decision the trial balance um, is not the decision. So the um. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Please listen. The depreciation in the trial balance is not a depreciation expense. It is previous okay. accumulated depreciation. All right. It's previous accumulated depreciation. Okay. All right. Sweet. And you have to charge current depreciation. You have to charge current. Um, or depreciation for the current year. All right, so after charging depreciation for the current year, you have to add it up to the accumulated depreciation to know the current or closing accumulated depreciation after the end of the current year. Uh, okay. So, so we have the initial one in the trial balance, and in the course of the year, we charge depreciation. All right, we charge depreciation on. Um, we charge the decision on the, um, we have shop fitting and delivery van, right? And after charging yes. the decision, I gave you two definitions for the decision. All right, what was the first one? The first one was um, the uh, allocation of cost of assets over very useful good. life. So the allocation, very good. So the allocation of cost is the decision expense, okay. right? And Good. And we got to know that while we are looking at the cost, the value of the asset would reduce. All right. So the first definition is allocation of cost. And the second definition is the reduction in the value of asset. All right. So the first definition okay. is for income statement, that's the position. And the second one is for the accumulated depreciation that's for SOF. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Very good. So um, let's go to the income statement. You're welcome. So we have income statement for the year ended at 1st December 2015. All right. We have our currency sign. And in the income statement, the first item is saved, right? So we have sales and that can see sugar. And if you want to know main revenue, we have sales return inwards. All right, so we have sales and then we let's return what we have returning what to be true that remember when we let's return in what from sales we get one four nine nine one zero. All right, so that would be the figure for next sales or main revenue. And then we move to cost of sales. And the cost of sales, we have opening inventory. And that is the figure for opening inventory. We have um, we have opening inventory to be one two one zero zero. All right. And then we add net purchases. We add net purchases. And if you want to know net purchases, we have purchases plus carriage inward minus return outward. All right, so like I was saying, um, 
um, with, with, with net purchases, we have purchases, all right? And that's the figure for purchases, then 95850. And then we add carriage inward and less for turn outward. So we have net purchases to be 94450, right? And then, so now we have closing inventory, we add net purchases, we less goods drawing. Uh, so we have this plus this minus. All right, and it was cost of one to five 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 zero. So one zero five 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 zero. Then we less closing inventory. Less closing inventory. We have closing inventory of one three five zero zero. So one three five zero zero from the cost of goods available for sale give us the cost of sales. Mm -hmm. Right, it will give us cost of sales. And please, um, Abigail, Abigail, unmute yourself and ask the question. Abigail, please know that there is no time. So if you raise your hand. Can you meet? I'm um, sorry. If you raise your hand, can you unmute yourself? Abigail. Okay, let's proceed. So we have, we have, um, our cost of sales figure to be nine two zero five zero. All right. Cost of less cost of sales from net sales of. We have one four nine nine one zero minus five seven eight six zero, right? And then we add other income. Um, the figure for this is due to less expenses. With less expenses. And the expenses we have carriage in word of 500. We have rent We have discount allowed, wages and salary. All right, um, please let's proceed. My next week was my snap. So, um, and the less expenses we have carriage output of 500, we have range 5,500, we have discounts allowed 1,250, we have wages and salaries 15,000, we have increase in provision 120, we have interest in loan 4,200. Yes, uh -huh. please. Actually, I was muted, that's why. Okay. Okay. Uh, concerning the drawings, it was thousand, but not ten thousand. The drawings, if thousand yeah. Thousand, but say if you subtract thousand from ninety, um, four thousand four hundred and fifty, you're not going to get that amount. That figure, that's one hundred and five thousand five hundred and fifty. I told you that if you want to know cost of goods available for sale. We have opening inventory plus net purchases less drawings. Opening inventory is one to one zero zero. We add net purchases with less goods drawings. Is it okay now? Okay, sir. Thank you. Welcome. All right. So we have interest on loan four thousand two hundred. We have utilities one four five zero zero. We have bad debt. 300. We have depreciation on shop fittings. 
six seven five depreciation and eight seven zero four. All right. So total depreciation will be nine three seven nine. All right. So now we have operating expenses and the sum of operating expenses less from gross income. So the figure for total operating expenses is five zero seven four nine. All right. So five zero seven four nine from this will give us net profit of seven eight one one. And this seven eight one one will go to SOFP as same equity. All right. We'll go to SOFP as same equity. So let's go to the SOFP. So with the SOFP, we have asset. Asset, we have cost less accumulated depreciation to get net book value. So shop fittings, we have the cost to be 4,500. We have accumulated depreciation to be 2,475. So less accumulated depreciation for cost to get net book value. All right, and then with delivery van, we have cost of 68,000. Less accumulated depreciation, we get net book value. All right. So when you sum up the net book values, we get total non current assets. So your total non current assets will be 36,841. All right. Then we add working capital. And if you want to do working capital, we get current liabilities from current assets. So now we move to current liabilities, I'm sorry, current assets. Um, my current asset, we have inventory. The figure for inventory is 13,000, um, sorry, 13,500. All right, and then we have receivables. All right, and with receivables, we all know that we less. We have receivables of 15,000, we less provision of 300. All right, and that would be my Amen. Please mute yourself. We have receivables of, um, where is it? Yeah, we have receivables of 15,000, in less provision 300, right? So we have net receivables of 14,700. Then we add rent prepaid, we add cash and bank balances. So we have figure for total current assets to be 52730. All right. Then we list current liabilities. And the current liabilities, we have trade payables, utility owing, interest owing. And then we sum up, we get 8060. Then we list current liabilities from current assets, we get working capital of 44670. All right. And then we add working capital to my current asset to get net assets. We have net assets to be 81511. We have net assets to be 81511. The net assets in the firm are financed by, so with the, under the finance by session, we have capital. We have capital of 63400. And then we list total drawings of 10700. All right. So drawings from capital will give us honest equity. And then we have firm's equity, which is profit. We have firm's equity, which is profit of 7811. When we add firm's equity to honest equity, we get total equity of 6050. I'm um, sorry, 60511. All right. And then we add bank loan of 21,000. And that will give us capital employed of 81511. Right. So now we've gotten to know that the net assets in the firm are financed by capital employed. And capital employed is equity plus non current liabilities. Please, is there any question? Christy, your hand is still up. Do you have any questions? Sir, please, no. Okay. Any question? Any question? 
Okay, so on this note, it's agreed that um, you are all okay with final accounts, all right? So you can keep solving questions and if you encounter any difficulty, you have my number I'm on the platform. So you can either put the question on the platform or you can PM me with the question, all right? So solve more questions, but if you want to become, if you want to be perfect, you're supposed to practice more, all right? And accounting is a practical course. Accounting is a practical course. So if you really want to understand accounting, you have to practice more. You have to solve more questions, all right? And whenever you encounter any difficulty, please don't hesitate to text me, all right? So go through more questions. You can go over the questions we did yesterday and the one we discussed today, all right? Because from next week, I think um, from ne from ne um, next week, we'll be discussing departmental accounting and then next two weeks, we'll do manufacturing accounting, all right? And before you understand these two topics, you, you're supposed to master the final account. Please make time for accounting. Accounting is a practical course. Make time for accounting. All right, internship is not an excuse. Internship is not an excuse. Your main occupation is student. All right, and as a student, you're supposed to work as a student. You have six weeks to cover up all the accounting topics. So knowing well that you have six weeks, you're supposed to use the vacation to go over everything you learn in the um, you learn next semester. All right. So internships are not excuses. So no one should use internship as an excuse. Please make time for accounting. Your main occupation is students. You are a student, so you are to work as a student. All right. So for accounting, please practice more. Because regardless of the number of times I teach you, if you don't sit down, practice, solve questions on your own, you won't get anything. All right, so please practice more, solve more questions, read wide, and if you encounter any difficulty, text me. All right. Please hope yes, that's fine. Very yes, good. Sir. So, very good. So please. If you have any question, any suggestion, the floor is open. All right, so if, if there is no question, it's 9.30 now, and I think we can end the class, all right? So thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Tisa. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.